I am in the kitchen cutting cucumbers. When I hear my five-year-old son say, Mommy, there's a rock in our yard. Okay, honey. <laughs> Mommy, there's a rock in our yard. Uh, okay, honey. Wait a minute. Mommy, it's moving. Well, I hustle on out to the porch. And I look down the hill that's our backyard and over the flat area, and there's a rock in front of the trees. And it's moving, slow, like a rock does. <laughs> well, someone's going to have to go out and see what it is. And, well, my husband's gone for hours yet. I, I look at my son, but he is only five. <laughs> And we've just moved here. We've just moved to Michigan for my husband's new job. And, and I haven't gotten to know anybody yet. I, I have no one to call. I, I've always had someone to call. Only now, it, it's just me. Just me. Mommy, let's go see what it is. N no, you stay here. Mommy's going to do this. Mommy's got to do this. So I head out through the kitchen, and I see an iron skillet. Uh, uh, no, too heavy. I see the knife. But what's a knife going to do against a rock? I see a broom. A broom has length to it. So I grab that broom, and I head out through the garage, and I turn, and there I am at the top of the hill that is our backyard, and I can see the rock. Only now it's not moving, which means that I have to go to it. And I do. I go down the hill and across the flatland. And as I get closer, it's getting bigger. And I get close enough to see that it has a pointy snout and a pointy tail, ridges on its back, four webbed feet, and a an awful mean look in its two glinty eyes. My God, it's a snapping turtle, and I've got a broom. <laughs> All right, you. You go back where you came from. You go back into those trees. Maybe there's a swamp back there or something, but you go. You go back. And don't you come near my boys. Don't you come bothering my boys. Well, I go back through the yard and into the house and onto the porch. Mommy, mommy, what is it? What is it? Honey, that's a snapping turtle. You've got to stay away from it because they are fierce. They are furious and they are fast. When they want to bite you, they're fast. And their bite is bad. Okay. Well, it's time to go see, or it's time to go pick up your brother. So you go on, get in the car. But mommy, huh? I know it's not far, but we're taking the car. <laughs> By the time we get back, the turtle is gone. We never see her again. And I say her because two days later, we found an amazing gift just at the same spot where I had met her. There were 13 eggs laid out there on the bare ground, not hidden, not protected in any way. Would make a really tasty dinner for a hungry raccoon. So we took a five gallon bucket and we filled it with sand and we put the eggs on that sand. And every few days, my two boys and I would gather around it and say, hey little turtles, we're little rain clouds, and we're going to give you water to help you grow. Sixty days later, we had those eggs hatch, and we had 13 rocks <laughs> in that bucket. We really liked having those baby snapping turtles around for a while, and then we let them go. But at least now, I had gotten to know some of my neighbors. 